Okay, this question is to do with true bearing and application of trigonometry. So this one's going to be um, um, a three-part question. I'm just breaking it down um, so that you can kind of understand each um, step. So um, there's a boy, he walks four kilometers on a true bearing of 90 degrees. So let's start with that, do it a step at a time. Okay, um, with true bearing, okay, always um, start from north and we know 90 degrees is that, two, um, 180 degrees would be that, 270 and 360. So we know he's going um, at a true bearing of 90 degrees. So that way this boy has walked four kilometers. Okay, then um, six kilometers on a true bearing of 170. So I'll draw it again, um, north at the top. And 170 degrees would be from the top there. You know the whole thing is 180, so 170 is roughly around that much. Okay, so I'll get rid of a bit of this line. And 170 is about there. Okay. Um, and that is about six kilometers at 170. Okay, we've basically drawn our initial diagram. Now let's look at a question. So how far east of the starting point? And we know east is that direction. Um, how far east of the starting point? <coughs> is the boy at the completion of his walk. So basically, we want to know what that distance is there. Now, to do that, we um, already know that four kilometers is this bit here up until, um, I'll draw this red line down there. So that's four kilometers till here. I need to figure out what this bit's gonna be. Then I can add them up and we'll be able to know what that total bit was. Okay. Alrighty, so I'll keep this in red. So I need to look for that bit there. And I'm just gonna call that X. Okay. Now I need to use trigonometry to try and figure this out. If this true bearing of 170 was still there, and we know that in a straight line, angles add up to um, 180, this part that's remaining is over 10 degrees. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use trigonometry to try and figure out what X is. Um, opposite side is going to be here. This is my opposite side. And this is my hypotenuse. So using Sokatoa, it's part A. So Sokatoa, I need to figure out which ratio to use first. And that's um, using hypotenuse and the opposite. So sin is the way, the other two I can't use because I really don't need the adjacent not looking for it at the moment. So sine of theta is opposite of a hypotenuse. I'll sub the values I've got. I know the angle is 10 degrees. The opposite is x, what I'm looking for, over 6. When the variable's at the top, we can just multiply. It's like multiplying 6 on both sides. That will cancel out, and we've got x is equal 
to 6 times sine 10. Right, and that is 10 point, sorry, 1.04. I'll just call it, um, if we can just round it to two decimal places, that's fine. Um, for simplicity, I'll just round it up to the whole number, so that's one kilometer. Okay, so we just figured out x, and so that is one kilometer there. So to answer my question, the how far east from this of the starting point is the boy at the completion of his walk? It says to one decimal place, but I'll keep it simple. That distance there is now four plus one, which is five kilometers. And I just figured that out there, so that's five kilometers which is the first part okay now the next part says how fast south of the starting point is the boy at the completion of his walk so now I'm looking for this part here I'll call Y so how far south is he That's what it's asking. All right, so let's figure out what y is. To do that, again, I will um, use trigonometry. I could use Pythagoras here, but um, we'll just use trig so we can have a bit of practice. So, um, Sokato again. Um, this is going to be my new opposite side. So it's just the same opposite side. Um, our adjacent is that. So I can use the opposite and the adjacent. I could also use the hypotenuse. Um, I will go with cos theta so that I can keep it simple. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse so cos 10 is equal to y over 6 and so y would be equal to 6 times cos 10 which is 5.9 kilometers I'll just round this up for simplicity that's six kilometers okay so we know y is now six kilometers we've answered that now the question is saying a question for part c is saying what is the bearing of the boy from the starting point At the completion of his walk so now what I'm gonna do is I know from the completion of his walk we want to know what the bearing of the boy is and um, remember he's he ended up over here so that's where the boy is at the end he started off over there so we'll draw a straight line there when the question is saying what is the bearing of the boy, we basically need that bit there. Okay. Now, for that, we already know that this five kilometers that I've highlighted, that's, that's really important. So I've got the five kilometers there. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and find... this angle here first because what I have is a triangle that looks like that over here Let's draw it all in purple where I know that 
this long bit is five. I'll write it clearly. It's five kilometers. And we know that the length here is six kilometers, which is the same as that. Okay. So using these two points, I can figure out what this angle theta is here. Alrighty, once I've got that, I'm almost done. So, um, what I will do is um, then label our sides. We have got, um, this is going to be my opposite side, we'll opposite this angle there. The hypotenuse, we don't really need it. We need um, the adjacent side. So, um, using Sokotoa, we know that using O and A, we need tan. And so, tan of the angle theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, tan theta is 5 on 6. And whenever we are looking for the angle, we do the inverse, so tan inverse of 5 over 6, and that comes to 39.8 degrees. Again, for simplicity, I'm just going to call this 40. So I'm going to round it up. So we know that the angle theta, this angle there that I'm looking for, is 40 degrees. Now, I'm almost there, okay? I um, can do 180, take 40 to find out what the true bearing of the boy from his starting point is. So, 180 minus 40 gives me 140 degrees. That is my answer to part C.